Hello YouTube, it's Spotty321 here and I'm back with another Pokemon Sword and Shield video. But this is not just Sword and Shield, this is the Isle of Armor. It's finally here and I'm so happy. So before we get started, don't forget to destroy that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new for more Pokemon content. Now let's get into today's video. Today, I'll be showing you guys how to finally evolve your Galarian Slowpoke. If you guys are like me, you may have shiny hunted your Slowpoke when it was first given, and now you finally want to evolve it into a Galarian Slowbro. So, I'll be showing you guys how to finally do that. In order to do that, we have to first collect 8 Galarcia Twigs. Galarcia Twigs are an item that can be found throughout the Isle of Armor. It shows up as a sparkle near the large trees, which I will show you if I can ever make it to them. That's the one thing I don't like about the forest is that there's so many venipede just running around that I keep running into. But as you can see here, there's these big trees. And occasionally, one of them will have a sparkle like this. So I'll click A, and as you can see, I found a Galarcia twig. It's completely random which trees will have them, but there will be a good amount throughout the, the aisle. So as you can see, I have three Galarcia twigs. I've been joyriding around the island and collecting them. However, not all of the sparkles near these trees will be Galarcia twigs. Some of them will be other items such as mushrooms, pokeballs, feathers, and more. I'll show you that if I can ever get out of this forest. Okay, that one was my fault. I made way too wide of a turn. But hopefully we'll be able to get out of here soon. Okay, there's the exit. And now we're on Challenge Beach. I really like the Isle of Armor and how it's so smoothly put together. I'll have a video out soon talking about my opinions overall on the DLC. But anyway, as you can see here, there's a sparkle next to this big tree. However, it's a clever feather, not a Galarcia twig. So I just wanted to show you guys that just to show that not all of them will be Galarcia twig. So... The Galarcia twigs can be found on trees anywhere in the Isle of Armor, not just the forest. As you can see here, I'm heading to one of the smaller islands just off the coast of the Tower of Waters. And of course I have to get chased by a Sharpedo, which this time caught up to me. Uh, glad this is a Pokemon game, not the real world, because that would have ended a lot more badly if this was the real world. But, let's escape from the battle. And keep heading on. So, as you can see here, there's a sparkle next to this tree, and it's a Galarcia twig. So, now I'm going to go collect a few more. You need eight Galarcia twigs in order to evolve your Slowpoke into a Slowbro. So, I'll go collect the remaining ones, and I'll see you guys then. I'm back and I've collected some more Galarcia twigs, so let's just grab this last one. And now as you can see we have 8 Galarcia twigs, which will be enough to 
evolve slow bro but there's one last thing we need to do before we are able to do that you need to go to the station near the dojo then head to the right into the water there's one specific island that it's pretty tall but it it has an arch and there is a place where you can go onto it. So as you can see, I'm biking over there now. And as you can see, there is a lady waiting here. So if you show her eight Galarcia twigs, she'll weave them into a Galarcia cuff. The Galarcia cuff is the evolution item for Slowpoke in Pokemon Sword and Shield. One quick thing I wanted to also mention is that if you talk to her after doing it the first time, she'll give you some clothing items. So you may want to do that. So now let's go grab a Slowpoke from my party. Or not my party, my boxes. I was shiny hunting for them as you probably know. And now we can use the Galarcia cuff on it. As you can see, compatible. And here we go. What? Slowpoke is evolving. Ba -da -dun -da -dun -da -dun -da -dun. And there it is. Galarian Slowbro. And it learned its signature move, Shell Sidearm. So... I think that's gonna wrap up this video. If you found it helpful, please don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new for more Pokemon content. It really helps more than you think. Thanks again for watching, and I'll be seeing you in the next one.